Everybody blew up America. Thank you very much. Happy Shoe Year. In town. Something in the way of things. Something that will quit and won't start. Something you know but can't stand, can't know, but get along with. Like death. Riding on top of the car, peering through the windshield for his cue, something entirely fictitious and true that creeps across your path, hallowing your evil ways like they were yourself, passing yourself, not smiling. The dead guy you saw me talking to is your boss. I tried to put a spell on him, but his spirit is illiterate. I know things you know and nothing you don't know. Except I saw something in the way of things, something grinning at me. And I wanted to know, was it funny? Was it so funny it followed me down the street greeting everybody? Like the good humor man. And they got to taste the good humor, but no ice cream. It was like that, me talking across people into the houses and not seeing the beings crowding around me with ice picks. You could see them, but they looked like important Negroes on the way to your funeral. They looked like important jigaboos on the way to your auction. They let them chant the numbers and use an ivory pointer to count your teeth. Remember Step and Fetch It, how we laughed? Knowing it was Sunday school images given flesh and jiggling with the ice pick high over his head. Made you laugh anyway. I can see something in the way of ourselves. That's why I say the things I do. You know it. But it's something else to you. Like that job this morning when you got there, it was quiet and the machines were yearning soft behind you, yearning for their nigga to come and give up his life. Standing there being dissed and broke and troubled. My mistake is I kept saying that was proof God didn't exist. And you told me, no, nah, it was proof that the devil do. But still, it's like I see something, I hear things. I saw words in the white boy's lying rags, said you was gonna die poor and frustrated. That them dreams walk with you cross town, is gonna die from overwork. That the garbage on the street is telling you you ain't shit, and you almost believe it. Broken, mistaken all the time. You know some of the words, but they ain't the right ones. Your cable back on, but ain't nothing on it you can see. But I see something. Something in the way of things. Something, something make us stumble. Something get us drunk from noise and addicted to sadness. I see something and feel something stalking us like a ugly thing floating at our back, calling us names. You see it and hear it too. But you say it's got a right to exist, just like you. And if God made it, but then we got to argue and the light gonna come down around us. Even though we remember where the bank is, we remember the Negro squinting at us through the cage. You seen what I see too. A smile that ain't a smile, but teeth flying against our necks. You see something too. We can't call us name. Ain't it too bad, y'all said? Ain't it too bad, y'all said? 
Ain't it too bad? Such a nice boy. Always kind to his mother. Ain't it too bad, y'all? Said it ain't too bad. Such a nice boy. Always kind to his mother. Always say good morning, everybody, on his way to work. But at last time before he got locked up and hurt real bad, I seen him walking toward his house and he wasn't smiling and he didn't even say hello. But I knew he'd seen something, something in the way of things and it worked on him like a doing will and he kept marching faster and faster away from us. Never even muttered a word. Then the next day, he was gone. You want to know what? What I'm talking about? I'm saying I seen something, something in the way of things. And how the boy's face looked that day just before they took him away. There is in that face, there is in that face. And remember now, remember all the mother faces and all the many places you've seen him or the sister with his child wandering up the street. Remember what you've seen in your own mirror and didn't for a second recognize the face, your own face, straining to get out from behind the glass. Open your mouth like you were going to say something. Close your eyes and remember what you saw. Remember what you saw and what it made you feel like. Now, don't you see something else? Something cold and ugly, not invisible, but blended with the shadow, crisscrossing the old man, squatting by the drugstore at the corner with his head resting uneasily on his folded arms. Don't you see something else? And the boy that smiled, and the girl he went with and in my eyes too a waving craziness splitting them into the jet stream of a black bird of a black bird his ass on fire or the solemn notness of where we go to know we gonna be happy I seen something I seen something and and you see it too. You just can't call his name. Rob Brown. When I was a kid, I was a weird little kid. I used to read Chinese and Japanese poetry when I was a little boy, for some reason. And I came upon something called a haiku. And I said, I would create something for black people. It's called a loku. <laughs> that means we don't have time to count the syllables because we got stuff to do. So it's just short. <laughs> Un poco loco. Silent night, whenever the devil is disguised as God, he is called Santa Claus. Adventures in Negrosity, a Negro tried to cash himself for money at a bank. He got arrested as a counterfeit nickel. Culture. European Jews say the devil speaks perfect German. Black Americans, on the other hand, say he speaks pretty good English, too. Locomotive. The devil said he left heaven because there was too many niggas. That's why he started Europe. Geo 
diabolical. According to the devil, when he was first thrown out of heaven, he landed in England. I believe him. Heaven appeared with property, God with slavery. Heaven appeared with property, God with slavery. Before fortune was money. Finally, everything points to the people and things we understand. Understanding is a point of view. If you look, what looks down from that point, if it is the sun, okay. If you see it, better if you don't, okay. But for instance, and there you go across the sea to be with the devil. The preparation for pain is minimal. For joy, a lifetime. The preparation for pain is minimal. For joy, a lifetime. Is that fair, we ask? Is that fair? You mean a fee? A circus? Or white people? The return of Lon Chaney. If you see a Negro with a white ring around his mouth, Goober dust will not help. Low coup. Craziness is no act. Not to act is craziness. Catch 27. The real problem is you don't know the real problem. Buddha asked Monk, if you were always right, would it be easier or more difficult living in the world? I knew you'd ask that, said Monk. Blue and invisible. Low coup for Bush too. The main thing wrong with you is you ain't in jail. Class gas for those who knows. Since the rich eat more than anybody else, it is reasonable to assume that they are more full of shit. In the funk world, if Elvis Presley is king, who is James Brown? God? Uh, a young man four years ago <laughs> I became the poet laureate of New Jersey but because I was <laughs> what Keats and Du Bois said you only have two things to be <clears throat> humble to as a poet one is truth and one is beauty and if you humble to those, you shouldn't worry about anything else. So they came to me and told me, you ain't the poet laureate no more. But they couldn't get rid of me. It's a strange thing, these laws. 
because it meant that they would have to go back in time. You know, they call it ex post facto. So they didn't, couldn't do that, so they got rid of the Poet Laureate. Now New Jersey is the only state that don't have a Poet Laureate, which means we're declaring ourselves officially ignorant. You know. <laughs> so I'm going to read this poem, which was my reaction to that. And then at the last thing, or next to last, I'll read the poem that actually got me kicked out. <clears throat> no, got it kicked out. <laughs> but the irony of it is this, that a year later, our governor, McGreevy, he told me to apologize and resign, and he had to apologize and resign. You know? He had an adulterous affair with his male aide, if you can understand that. Uh, this is called Fashion This from the Irony of the World That I. The undaunted laureate of the place. Dawn it in some unagiated pretense of what they see. They be as if such where they was, was yet to be, and then to say they is and is not, like revelations, wow, humans. The skin, the lodging inside dumbness, a slight breeze frees their speech to speak as if acquainted with small things in the world, eating, belching, farting, murder, robbery. And so, as if, and them too they is, but nothing further but the wee dots on the deletion resembling the minds of them yet to come. Imagine you were me, or imagine you were thee, and we knew all the things both do and is and will ourselves to be. Imagine you were in this place and they wanted to run everywhere pointless, endless understanding not even why they smell or their hair fall out or what to do about gout that they are yet stupid to colds and cancer and death they think holy when death is simply a report card of the ignorant nothing dies but that which never lived and it might return in a white suit and in charge of ugly small mistakes somebody at Harvard could win a billion dollars in a post if they could find out but they never will because it's the reason they committed suicide. Suppose you had to live with ignorant white people and Negroes in cages with important chains around their mouth. Suppose you had heard of Trent Lott. Suppose you woke up 1 a.m. and there was a vampire on the tube being interviewed by a niggalino boob, a handsome rat for whom the idea of brain was only an idea, which he did not think if he could was a bad one. And the boob was a killer, yet to graduate from killer school. So he worshipped the vampire's teeth. The two juicy fangs hanging from each end of his lip, the Negro thought was hip. And dreamed of having teeth like that so he could be a rat. He was tired of being a mere heel. And the vampire was planning to bite the whole world, to suck the blood out of everything, to suck the blood out of the world and make its future a vampire that could whirl through space and suck the blood out of the stars, suck the blood out of the planets, suck the blood out of the moon, suck the blood out of the sun, and then armed and blubbery fat with everything's blood still hot and musical like emptiness, he could lift into the outer way gonosphere and search for God if there was such and suck the blood out of him, her, it, them, whatever, till there was no blood anywhere, not even you, blood. In fact, you'd be the one the first to go. It was a special issue of Jungle Comics where the vampire, the thin-nosed kind from the outback who can suck with his teeth and stir with his nose, whose eyes are missing, and what you see is the bottom of a coal mine filled with 2,000 pounds of lynch. Execution, missing, raped, cheated, framed, slandered, stolen, frowned, frozen ex corpuscles.
Lonnie's Lament. He is called Thangul the Asshole and dances to dry lips set on fire by missing junkies he has eaten. He is the devil's newspaper and wears his ass backwards so the colon can wear uniform. And revelations can be burned, especially chapter 18, verse 12, where it say, Beware of ugly motherfuckers, who is not really ugly motherfuckers, but uglier, much, 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 much more uglier than that. So spake Nat, amen. I speak with the rage of angels, them that be with marks. I speak with the clarity and inferno of the necessary. Like my man John on Patmos watching Sky Vision and digging it was all commercials. I blow with a deep fear of John on the island looking at the actual devil. I am like him in that I try to count the Mammy Jammer's heads and horns and find out what will kill him. I speak like him who spoke to Philadelphia and hung out with Jesus before they murdered him. I speak like him who dug that Peter was a coward and gave the Lord up and that Paul was an anti-Semite who never came out of the closet. I speak as one who knew Judas would drop a dime on the movement and confirm the chump had hung his lousy self just before I got busted. I speak as one betrayed by the lies of those who say they are religious but are greed-ridden worshipers of Satan who kill anyone who opposes them and calls it a church of defense against evil. Like John, I would speak. Like John, who baptized. Like John, the knower. John, the blower. John, the brown. John, the revelator. I speak like James, the brother. James, the other. Jim, the hip. Like Dick, the rude. Like Bird, the high. Like Monk, the deep. I speak from the island of my soul and cast a terrified look into the sky filled with monsters, with witches and devils, with great whores and beasts of things with heads and horns and blood dripping out of their eyes. It's out. It's out. Imagine you were here in this place, staring into the soul of something filthy, trying to keep it from murdering you, to keep your eyes from registering, your ears from hearing, your mouth from reporting, and you could feel it breathing on your neck and saw sometimes the shadow of its horny hands reaching out of the blind dark. You could see the shadow of its gun, its lie, its teeth sweating. Imagine you could actually understand its obscene ideas. And they made you enter the mind of Fred Douglas and stare out at the ocean, just as John at the edge of Africa staring at the overhead commercials on the death of the beast. And so the blessing that is in my name and in my words I give to myself and you who are truthful as the actual life of the world. And it is this blessing which will save us, will make us strong as we go on with our work, our work of scientifically determining how to kill the beast. Each night I fill my notebooks with formula and instructions to myself and others what to do and what to study, where to go, who to talk to and when. I make lists of words and names and events and processes, necessary stages of what we have come to realize is protracted and what we do we will do and what we succeed at is worth the pain, what we fail at is worth the understanding if we can understand what the next step is. We are studying with all our minds and hearts and souls determination to understand how to slay the serpent. This task, Nat handed down to whoever did understand that that was what he did, hanging on that tree, slain by the serpent's host. So we have learned that we cannot die except by our own submission to it and decided we will not die except when we understand what place we go to and so begin to set that where in order and begin to understand where the beast will be hiding there. We are the rider of the black horse. Black horse, black rider. We are the rider of the black horse. Black horse, black rider. Who conquers with a scale, with justice and measure, in the mighty pentatonic mode of the finite music of infinity, a new joint. And when I returned from this forwarding of my feeling and knowing, the beast sat still and his teeth wiggled with lies. And at once I remembered where before I'd seen him, before his tenure as the counterfeit ghost 
in the Caucasian crib. Yes, it was the same one. Remember the little devil that Gerald 2X arrested and placed in the pages of Muhammad Speaks? And we saw him where Malcolm had locked him up with the little horns out of his head and the evil eyes and the twin fang straws for sucking oil and blood. It got clear to me as he rose to leave and the Negro boob slobbered happiness at being recognized as the newest commode in the Caucasian abode. The vampire turned, and where before the cunning little tail that used to dingle out his hiney struck me at its absence, oh, I thought. And at that moment, I saw the thing dart like a copperhead's fart out of the Negro's curled lips, ring with the white chalk, Caucasian charcoal, Caucasian circle of merit, which identifies wooden Negroes promoted to the honorary genus of homo locus subsidiary, literally near man or near the man, who no longer kneel when they are made well-paid heels, but now can assume the funky bedbug crouch of the hideously self-hating. At the same time, they are given a great facsimile carte blanche weapon of ugliness to use against N-words and any who would violate the sanctity of northern appetite. And so I came to understand that the beast's deadly arrow shot from out of the first horseman's white bow from the white horse, the weapon which Revelations prophesied to John was the weapon of his transitory rule, was now the tongue of the boob whom I err at calling him bad or rat or heel or dog or traitor, that that tail become a tongue was the sign that from the vampire's tail was bestowed on the wooden Negro a badge that allowed him to enter clan meetings and skinhead lynchings and Texas executions and Palestinian ethnic cleansing and report with the slobber of his terrificatious white ring serpent speak. Symbol, font, and punctuation on the tabula rasa of the media sheet, the empty echo of his eviscerated self. And in the soul's place, that beast tail was hung. And in the soul's place, that beast tail was hung. The beast tail was sung. And I stood, and I stood, and I stood, remembering Patmos. And the images that sailed across the air when you and I was there, I stood remembering Patmos and the images that sailed across the air when you and I was there, and wondered what next the world of this life held for those who would love goodness. What next the world of this life held for those who would love goodness for those who would love goodness. You remember Tarzan back in the old days? You young people don't probably remember Tarzan, but Tarzan, you know, there's this white dude used to run around, he had no shirt on. He'd be victimizing these Africans. But then he started to get a big stomach, so he had to put on his shirt, you know. When he put on his shirt, he changed his name to Jungle Jim. And then he came to the United States, moved to California, and became the governor of California. <laughs> this is called Jungle Jim Flunks His Screen Tests. James? You should know how the world makes you ugly. You is, you know, James, very ugly. Ugly, we used to say. Back in the playground, just touching the surface of the thing. Not understanding that there's ugly, there's ugly. Then various deeper degrees, like dirty ugly, sick ugly, devil ugly, death ugly. Right on till you get to the bottom of the beginning of some shit too ugly to be dug by a mere you, man. I've never seen that deepest, dirtiest, post-serial killer ugly. I've seen Bush, too, and his charcoal imp dummy, Neil Bent. I've seen a lot. I've seen a Bilbo. I've seen a thing wrapped in white sheets carrying his burning soul. 
disguised as a baking nigra, eyes melting in the snot. I seen something so ugly, I cancel out of my mind. And if I try to remember, I get horizontal lines and blood come out of my fingers. Ugly is the first letter of where you is. Satan begin with an S put together. They is money. A collection of ignorant medusas. Halloween. Piano lessons and a human skin mask. Poke it out with blood. Self is above, dead and unconnected. Is it floating? Defying gravity with the magic of bullshit. You ugly with and in because you is was the same. You ugly because you know you ugly and say you ain't. You ugly because you eat everybody and belch Hollywood. You ugly because you like and you want to be ugly and you think ugly cute. You uglier than anybody except who made you ugly. Look between your legs at the flickering light of skyscraper teeth on fire again. Some people say God did it. It was either him or somebody else colored. You ugly because that's how you got rich. But you got more ugly than you got money. With all that money, you still ugly. The ugliest other thing in the world think you ugly. And happy because you make them feel better. You uglier than Agnew. When you get your PhD in ugly, you will be Hitler's last meal. You uglier than Churchill and Bush, the father's hideous wife. Ghouls say you ugly behind your back. Vampires scared of you. When Clarence Pendleton passed gas, it painted your face all over the room. You uglier than that painting Clarence Thomas got in the attic of his real self. You uglier than Papa Doc, Hitler and Mobutu. You uglier than Mussolini, Franco, and the Swedish angel is your twin. You uglier than zombie vomit. Uglier than zoo dirt. You the ugliest thing in the human family and that ID you got saying you human is ugly. You ugly as devil doo-doo. White supremacy in you is identical. You ugly as the brain emptiness of a cracker lynch mob. You ugly as Falwell dressed as Cab Calloway. You uglier than white people. You uglier than Armstrong Williams. You and Ascraft as movie stars among the backward dead. All insects look better than you. At your best, you as vomit. Rats run away from you. You as uglier than Dama's sweet tooth. You as uglier than the police. War is your makeup, prison your altar, assassination your conversation. You think stealing make you better looking. Lying give you an orgasm. Only pain make you smile. But you so ugly, no smile will stay near your face. You drink people's tears, paint your face with their blood. You so ugly when you sleep, your dreams torture people. The devil complains when you tell people you him. The devil say you uglier than him. That could be a trick, but nobody ever seen the two of y'all together. But the devil dressed better than you. Your face is a uniform. Clothes won't let you put them on. You cannot fart because gas refuses to stay in your ass. You went to Denmark for sexual transformation. But the doctors could not figure out which sex you were. You claim not to be dead. You claim the reason you look the way you do is not your fault. 
Nature made me like this, you say. Nature made me like this, you say. Naturally, everything denies it. Jungle Jim. Jungle Jim, you flunk. You screen test. Nature made me like this, you say. Naturally, everything denies it. Jungle Jim, you flunk your screen test. I want to read the poem that, the poem that made New Jersey officially ignorant. <laughs> and the music with this, you know, the music from that last tune we did was Dizzy Gillespie, Night in Tunisia. The music for the one before that was Lonnie's Lament, that's John Coltrane. The music before that, in Poco Loco's Bud Powell. The music before that was Thelonious Monk, Monk's Mood, also Stevie Wonder, Living for the City. This is, the music for this is Mysterioso by Thelonious Monk. Somebody blew up America. All thinking people oppose terrorism, both domestic and international. But one should not be used to cover the other. Somebody blew up America. They say it's some terrorist, some barbaric Arab in Afghanistan. It wasn't our American terrorists. It wasn't the Klan or the skinheads or the them that blows up nigger churches or reincarnates us on death row. It wasn't Trent Lott or David Duke or Giuliani or Shunla. Helms retiring. It wasn't the gonorrhea in costume, the white sheet diseases that have murdered black people, terrorized reason and sanity, most of humanity, as they pleases. They say, who say, who do the saying? Who is them paying? Who tell the lies, who in disguise? Who had the slaves? Who got the bucks out the bucks? Who got fat from plantations? Who genocided Indians? Tried to waste the black nation? Who live on Wall Street, the first plantation? Who cut your nuts off? Who rape your mom? Who lynch your pa? Who got the tar? Who got the feathers? Who had the match? Who set the fires? Who killed and hired? 
who say they God still be the devil? Who the biggest only? Who the most goodest? Who do Jesus resemble? Who created everything? Who the smartest? Who the greatest? Who the richest? Who say you ugly and they the good lookingest? Who define art? Who define science? Who made the bombs? Who made the guns? Who bought the slaves? Who sold them? Who call you them names? Who say Dama wasn't insane? Who, 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 who? Who stole Puerto Rico? Who stole the Indies, the Philippines, Manhattan, Australia, and the Hebrides? Who forced opium on the Chinese? Who owned them buildings? Who got the money? Who think you funny? Who lock you up? Who owned the papers? Who owned the slave ship? Who run the army? Who was the fake president? Who the ruler? Who the banker? Who the devil on the real side? Who got rich from Armenian genocide? Who the biggest terrorist? Who changed the Bible? Who kill the most people? Who do the most evil? Who don't worry about survival? Who have the colonies? Who stole the most land? Who rule the world? Who say they good but only do evil? Who the biggest executioner? Who, 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 who? Who own the oil? Who want more oil? Who told you what you think that later you find out is a lie? Who, who? Who found Bin Laden? Maybe they Satan. Who paid the CIA? Who knew the bomb was gonna blow? Who know where the terrorists learned to fly in Florida, in San Diego? Who knew why five Israelis was filming the explosion? And cracking their sides at the notion. Who need fossil fuel when the sun ain't going nowhere? Who make the credit cards? Who get the biggest tax cut? Who walked out of the conference against racism? Who killed Malcolm Kennedy and his brother? Who killed Dr. King? Who would want such a thing? Are they linked to the murder of Lincoln? Who invaded Grenada? Who made money from apartheid? Who keep the Irish a colony? Who overthrew Chile and Nicaragua later? Who killed David Sebeco, Chris Hani, the same ones who killed Biko, Cabral, Neruda, Allende, Che Guevara, Sandino? Who killed Kabila, the ones who wasted Lumumba, Manlane, Betty Shabazz, Princess Di, Ralph Featherstone, Little Bobby, Locked up Mandela, Deruba, Geronimo, Asada, Mumia, Garo, Dashiell Hammond, Alfea Sutton. Who killed Huey Newton, Fred Hampton, Medgar Evers, Mikey Smith, Walter Rodney? Was it the ones who tried to poison Fidel? Who tried to keep the Vietnamese oppressed? Who put a price on Lenin's head? Who put the Jews in ovens? And who helped them do it? Who said America first and okay the yellow stars? Ho, ho! Who killed Rosa Luxemburg? Liebnet? Who murdered the Rosenbergs? And all the good people iced, tortured, assassinated, vanished? Who got rich from Algeria, Libya, Haiti, Iran, Iraq, Saudi, Kuwait, Lebanon, Syria, Egypt, Jordan, Palestine. Who cut off people's hands in the Congo. Who invented AIDS. Who put the germs in the Indians' blankets. Who thought up the Trail of Tears. Who blew up the Maine and started the Spanish-American War. Who got Sharon back in power. Who backed Batista, Hitler, Bilbo, Chiang Kai-shek. Who, 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 who? Who decided affirmative action had to go? Reconstruction, the New Deal, the New Frontier, the Great Society. Who do Tom S. Clarence work for? Who do do come out the colon's mouth? Who know what kind of skeezer is a Condoleezza? Who pay Connolly to be a wooden Negro? Who give genius awards to homo locus subsidiary? Who 
overthrew Nkrumah, Bishop, who poisoned Robeson, who tried to put Du Bois in jail, who framed rap Jamil Alamine, who framed the Rosenbergs, Garvey, the Scottsboro Boys, the Hollywood Tent. Who set the Reichstag fire? Who knew the World Trade Center was going to get bombed? Who told 4,000 Israeli workers at the Twin Towers to stay home that day? Why did Sharon stay away? Who, 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 who? Who, who? Explosion of owl, the newspapers say. Devil's face could be seen. Explosion of owl, the newspapers say the devil's face could be seen. Who? 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 Who make money from war? Who make dough from fear and lies? Who want the world like it is? Who want the world to be ruled by imperialism and national oppression and terror, violence and hunger and poverty? Who is the ruler of hell? Who is the ruler of hell? Who is most powerful? Who you know ever seen God? But everybody's seen the devil. Like an owl exploding in your life, in your brain, in yourself. Like an owl who know the devil all night, all day, if you listen. Like an owl exploding in fire. Like an owl exploding in your life, in your brain, in yourself. Like an owl who know the devil all night, all day, if you listen. Like an owl exploding in fire. We hear the questions rise in terrible flame like the whistle of a crazy dog. Like the acid vomit of the fire of hell. Who and who and who, 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 who. from a book called Wise, W-I, no, Y apostrophe S, W-H-Y apostrophe S, W-I-S-E, Africa, Africa, Africa. Mighty, ancient, beautiful Africa. Creator of the human being, of speech, of music, of the dance, ancient, mighty Africa, beautiful Africa. But when you put your hand on your sister, made her a slave, watch out Africa. Watch out, Africa, the ghost's gonna get you. When you put your hand on your brother, made him a slave, watch out, Africa. Watch out, Africa. The ghost's gonna get you. Ah! How did I get here on my back in the dark with the wind and water blowing through my ears? How did I get here in the dark? How did I get here in the dark with the wind and water blowing through my ears? Watch out, Obatala, Shango, save me. Save me, Isa, save me. How did I get on my back? In the dark, with the wind and water blowing through my ears. My brother the king sold me to the ghost. My brother the king sold me to the ghost. At the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, there's a railroad made of human bones. At the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, there's a railroad made of human bones. Black ivory. Black ivory. Wow.
wise one. If you ever find yourself somewhere lost and surrounded by enemies who won't let you speak in your own language, who destroy your statues and instruments, who ban your umbu baum, you're in trouble. They ban your um boom ba boom. You in deep, deep trouble. Huh. Probably take you several hundred years to get out. At the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, there's a railroad made of human bones. Black ivory, black ivory, black ivory, black ivory. Thank you, Steve Rob Brown. I know how I did that. That was weird. I found this Obama poem, it's short, I'm gonna read it. This was, this was written after the election. Those who dug less the young are not surprised. But those who can't understand what they did and can't understand who they are, are then lost in the moss, lost to the discourse, uncorrected, misdirected, uninspected, unprotected, Never seen or known them or they, we and us, all y'all. So then be unknown to most people except the hosts who told them they ain't who they is. So insist they is who they ain't. It's quaint. Just add a little paint and say the same brain as the insane and not know who you, who he, who we. Blind like in Spanish, cannot see, see, see. As if race was a waste, it is. Horse number three ain't none of we. And class was a true, others the same as you. But on your head, if you upside down, they underground. That's cool, it's romantic. You get frantic, they answers anic. Like the guy who crawl up out the bottle and wanna know if you got his bubble. But please to make you understand, you is another breeding space who got their own time and place. Come this far in a minute, ain't even out of breath. Come this far so soon, don't know yourself. Drunk some coon swoon. 145 years, that's the beginning again. 44 equal eight. Start in 09 equals the time and it's 10, one again. Come so far so quick. You come so far so quick. They forget to tell you you wasn't just slow, you wasn't just uneducated, you was slick. You wasn't just all heart, you was also very smart. How you think you was drug over here and changed, next thing we know you the president? God damn, you think you could survive amongst this hostile tribe and not be smart plus tough with all that heart? Those who dug less the young would understand. What's happening, Prez? <laughs> Thank Rob Brown. Great.